Hey guys, still on, you know, um, jagged little pill here. Um, I was, you know, digging up some, you know, stuff about Mr. Elon Musk. And when I say dig up, I don't mean like trying to get dirt on him, but trying to, you know, learn more about him because he's such an inspiration to me. And I realized he's a he's an Aquarius North Node like myself. And I'm like, damn, no wonder he's so smart. No offense to <laughs> no offense to, you know, the other North Nodes. But when I say smart, smart in my contact context um okay so it's like um he's like you know a science geek but a sexy science geek and no i'm not you know being profane or lewd it's not a lefting kind of frequency but i i'm 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 a sapiosexual some pronounce it sapiosexual however it's still s a okay it's still s and an a okay so I, I i'm attracted to i get aroused by in, intellect okay it's just my makeup it's my astrological frequencies and energies and so on and so forth and i bet he himself too is also a sapiosexual or sapiosexual i'm just sticking to sapiosexual because that's how i initially started to pronounce the word and i'm just sticking to that i'm not gonna change because i hear other people saying sapiosexual um well i the truth is i never really um because like i normally when i learn new words this is a word that i've known for years now but normally i would like um google search the pronunciation but this is a word that i i never did that and so i'm not really sure what the real pronunciation or the more globally accepted pronunciation or universal pronunciation is but at the end of the day it still spelled the same word was spelled the same way you know what i'm talking about someone who is who gets aroused by intellect and knowledge you know someone who's attracted to knowledge and that's who i am based on his natal chart because i was also looking into that too because you know i'm like how are you so smart how you, you 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 think like that and you know your frequencies and energies they do explain that and i was like looking into his life man and like even his you know academic his education and you know just like i was saying in you know the first edition that's like a new series that i'm doing now um an inspirational series titled jagged little pill inspired by you know one of my faves you know alanis morissette um i think she had an album by that name a studio album by jagged little pill but she also i think has a song by that name um my more famous songs um my more you know favorite my most favorite songs by her though is is like um uh damn other than names to those songs like okay so like thank you by Alanis Morissette that's very inspirational and um ironic um um that's another song that I love that she did so many other songs you've had it you've already won me over so many songs love songs you know well you know so i'm not there she did have an album by that name i don't know i don't know the songs i don't remember the songs that are on that album maybe um i mentioned some of them i don't remember but you know um i felt you know inspired by her because she's like that kind of person who's like you know you, you got to learn you know you know so you know life is hard you know that's pretty much universal for all of us you know but you know you just got to swallow that you know that that pill because it just teaches and that's that's like she might have some strong saturn um uh, some strong saturn you know placements in her chart or some like strong capricorn placements i should say in her chart or aspects i should say why you know she perceives life life like that because people who are like you know well you got to just you know sup it up and just you know learn from it and move on you know those people tend to have strong capricorn placements okay and you know people who are really disciplined you know tend to have strong capricorn placements in their natal charts so um i think i did look up hers but i don't remember if she does um she does have you know um 
strong Capricorn aspects. I don't remember. Um, but like, you know, let me talk about Mr. Elon Musk here because, you know, you know, I, it's, it's him that I want to talk about right now because, you know, I was like, I didn't know his, um, educational, um, background. And so when I was talking, you know, damn the noise again. So I was like looking into his, you know, background and I was like, his educational back. Well, a lot of stuff because like. He's, you know, he's, he's founded so many companies. He's, he's the CEO of, you know, he's doing a lot. Okay. He, like the information is below guys. Just take a look because like even PayPal that a lot of people use, you know, he, 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 he has a lot to, you know, play in, in that role. I mean, like, I don't, he's not, he, he's not, I don't know if he's got any shares in PayPal right now, but a company that he founded um was actually um i think he sold that company and um that company was merged with another company forming paypal that you know a lot of people use today so he's like a backbone of humanity right now you know not to mention you know um spacex that's doing so much in regards to space travels and then you know tesla which is like the the future like aquarius north aquarius is the future man he's like you know he's doing so much leo is the past to present but aquarius is like the future okay and he's like doing so much like eventually we, we we going into solar power and using electric cars because we see where you know diesel and you know um you know petroleum and you know you know just pretty much using the oil from the earth it's doing so much damage in so many different ways because when you put something where it's not supposed to be that's going to cause that's going to result in you know ramifications like okay global warming that's a lot from the exhaust from vehicles you know from using these oils and plus the oil belongs in the earth okay to hinder earthquakes and stuff like that it's just in use for the joints of the earth the plate tectonics and stuff like that and so it's a smart like he's smart let me just say that he's smart And when I looked into his, you know, educational background, guess what? Like, I'm not putting down Mr. Elon Musk. I'm just proving a point here that at the end of the day, astrology rules. He has a Bachelor's of Arts. And he's got a um, degree, of course, and a Bachelor of Science. Bachelor's of Science. Okay. He ain't got a Master's degree. And he ain't got PhD. Look at that. I'm just showing people out there because especially within the black community, black people, they play a lot into public personas and stuff like that. And a lot of these billionaires in this world, check out a lot of these billionaires. They didn't go to Harvard University. They didn't go to these prestigious universities. They didn't go to these prestigious high schools. Some of them didn't even attend pub, uh, private schools. Some of them weren't, you know, um, privately, uh, weren't, weren't tutored, weren't like, you know, come on, man. Because like in this culture, especially here in Jamaica, there's like this, you know, this nuance of people being caught up with, you know, which schools, which high schools their kids attend, their children pass for, you know, first it was like the common entrance, then there was the GSAT, now there is the, what the fuck they call it now? PEP? Is it PEP? Or is that the grade four shit? Some, something like Pep or some, I think that's the name. I'm not sure. They be changing the name so often. I, I, I lose track. Okay. And with them and their BS because they ain't doing anything for the culture, for the country, for the people. Because you got, okay, everybody, they want to go to these prestigious, what they call traditional high schools. And at the end of the day, they're not becoming Elon Musk. They're not becoming Bill Gates. They're not becoming Steve Jobs. They're not becoming any of these people. And why, why, what was all of that for? And that's what I'm trying to show people. Stop giving into popular opinion.
Stop feeding into public opinion and so on. Don't make people feel, make you feel bad that you're not going to be a top achiever because you didn't attend Harvard, you didn't attend university at all, or you didn't attend some prestigious high school. Because a lot of these people, I'm not saying all of these people, and I'm not saying these people never become anything, but I'm saying a lot of these people, they fall under, they fall by the wayside you know, due to pressure of, you know, people's expectations of them, as well, as well as some of them, they, you know, they, they fell by the wayside due to their own expectations, unrealistic expectations of themselves. A lot of times it's triggered by the public, popular opinion, their families, you know, expect expectations and all of this and all of that. That is just too much. We're here to live or lives we're, so, we're here to have or experience we're spiritual beings here to have you know human experiences is not to live for your mama or your papa or your granddad your grandpa your brothers your sisters your neighbors your lover it's not to experience life for anybody else or you know to please anybody else but ourselves damn that's deep like he's the wealthiest person in the world right now and he doesn't got a master's degree or a phd and look at all these people who got masters phd where are they a lot of these people are nowhere in his league you think he cares about getting a master's degree like right now like really or a phd are you are you for real and, you know, I, I was watching this video on We On Network, you know, um, this was like, you know, a piece, an article that was done. Um, I need to remember the pronunciation of her name because she's like, you know, one of the best, you know, um, reporters ever. She is so thorough and I know she, she her, her North Node is in media and communication because she handles that like a G. I'm gonna put her name below. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. Um, I'm gonna put the link to that um, piece that she did. I think it was November 11 that she did that piece. And I'm gonna put her name below. And I'm gonna remember to use her name next time. She's Indian, okay? Okay, and you know, she's just so thorough. And that's how you know when someone is living in their North Node because whatever it is they're doing, they're exceptional at it. They don't even got to have a degree in that. You feel what I'm trying to say? And that's why it's so important to have your natal charts read by someone who really understands the frequencies and knows what each frequency means and the placements and the aspects by some, an astrologer who is an astrologer. That's their life purpose. They're not copying somebody. They're not being a wannabe. They are following their north node like say for example Aquarius north node because I know that is you know in science and technology which astrology is a science okay so I never went to university I never went to any of these traditional high schools but hey I know the fact what I'm talking about I, I understand science and medicine and that's because I have the frequencies and energies. I've got the aspects for that. I've got the discipline for that. I am that. You understand what I'm trying to say? And I did say the future is people are going to be, you know, placed into their respective industries according to their north nodes. And that's the only way for humanity to prosper and thrive properly. North nodes. It's all about knowledge. Knowledge is power. It's all about knowledge. That's what it's about right now. That's what it should have always been about. Okay, not people being in their feelings, not people, you know, playing into popular opinions, you know, you know, you know, reputations, you know, you know, you know, wanting to please the crowd, wanting to look a certain way. Oh, I got, I got a bachelor's. Oh, I got a master's. Oh, let me not even say bachelor's because it's like in these third world countries now, it's like you got a, ma a bachelor's. It's like nothing to people now. 
It's like a competition to see who can get the more accolades. And at the end of the day, what is it benefiting the culture? What is it benefiting the economy of the country? What is it benefiting them individually, their families, the people? What is it doing? Ain't nothing it's doing for them. Because a lot of these people are jobless right now. A lot of these people are struggling to make ends meet. A lot of these people are, are doing things outside of their initial pursuits. Oh, they got a bachelor's in, in this and that. And oh, they got a master's. In, they ain't even doing anything in regards to what they went to university to study. Because that's not their passion. That's not what they were called to do. And so therefore, there isn't the tenacity or the discipline to go through with that, to follow through. The moment things get, you know, too sticky or hard or they feel a, a bit of fear, oh, I'm going to leave that. I, I ain't, that's not for me. And they, they shift. They'll be doing something completely different. Because that wasn't, you know, that was pretty much, they saw somebody taking that path and they, you know, either they got envious or they got super inspired and they wanted to be that person, man. And they took on a role that, that they weren't called to play. And then they fell by the wayside. Because that's not who you are. Never try to be who you are not. And try to find yourself. Try to discover who you're supposed to be. And be that somebody. That you're called to be. In this lifetime. In any lifetime. And that's the only way to succeed. I'm going to leave it there guys. Um, I'm really inspired by Elon Musk. Because like I've been watching the the, the space travels, you know, you know, I you know, um, I kind of missed. Yeah, I did miss Crew Three um, Transit. You know, well, via uh, via transit, the uh, traveling via the the Dragon spacecraft, and I think that was designed and you know created by SpaceX, which you know Elon Musk he is the CEO of that. Um, of that um you know um company that organization and you know it's just i've been like following you know and you know you know it's it's just, it's a collaboration between spacex and nasa okay um and it's just so inspiring how much he's doing and you know you know people would think that oh he he, he went to harvard he went to one of those top notch not universities he got a phd in science no he doesn't he got Aquarius North Node and other aspects in his natal chart that makes him good at what he's doing right now because he is on his North Node. And what I notice it's so easy for people with Aquarius North Nodes to actually get on track on their North Node because it's like having divine guidance. I'm not saying every Aquarius North Node, but you know, he's of course North Node. He's been following his, you know, his, his, his North Node. You know, and I find that I have been doing that to myself innately. So I feel like it's like, I'm like going to like watch other Aquarius North Node people. Like, you know, of course, this is like a case study for me to, you know, study and research people's natal charts. And, oh, you're Aquarius North Node. Oh, and you're following your North Node. Okay. So, you know, I am building a case here, you know. It's a case study, you know, being a scientist and stuff like that. So, I, I, yeah. Man. It's so beautiful. So, um, get in the know. Because, like, you know, stop wanting to do something. Like, don't want to do do music because you know musicians they seem to get a lot of attention because they're always on state stage or so it seem you know because like if you get into something that you're not called to do it might be the end of you or the death of you you feel me like we all gonna experience death in some way shape or form but you don't want that death to be your you know your absolution or you know your complete end or you don't want it to be you know um without purpose everything we do got to be with purpose and that's you know that's what i'm trying to get across to you okay you want to be a high achiever know yourself get to know yourself figure out who you're supposed to be and be that person and that's how 
you become a high achiever. It's not by trying to be Elon Musk because there's already an Elon Musk. Okay? I was like, you know, on, you know, social media and like there's this horrible stench in the atmosphere. These places are so toxic to live. And I don't know. I would never waste my money. I've been saying this to live in places like these. You couldn't pay me a trillion dollars. And I, I swear by that to live here. It's like a curse to live here. It's so toxic. You in so many different different ways, shape and form. But like, you know, you know, I was on social media and I saw someone, you know, a you know, an influencer did a video. I didn't even watch the video. It was just like I saw the thumbnail and I saw the the heading for the video. And it's like an, an upcoming entertainer. And, you know, when I first saw, you know, she was well, not really first, but, you know, not too long ago when I saw, you know, some stuff about her in the media and, you know, a music video that she did. I was like, I don't know. Is it just me? But I feel like she's just doing too much, you know? She's just doing too much. And then, you know, over time, you know, like over the few weeks and coming up to now, I'm yet to watch that video because it's not really that it's going to teach me something. I might watch it to really get a gist of what is being said and what really could. I pretty much summed up what it's going to be about. And I'm like, she's trying to emulate this older musician that is possibly tutoring her. And I'm like, no, baby girl. Even if you're called to be an entertainer, you want to be your own kind of entertainer. Okay, you want to find who you are and you want to express that because entertainers, they express. You know, we already got one Beyonce. We already got one Rihanna. We already got one, you know, J-Lo. We already got one Elon Musk. Okay, because Elon is a star. He's not a celebrity. He's a star. Aquarius versus a Leo. Not, not competition-wise, but just showing you the difference. Okay? He has transcended past celebrity state or celebrity stage, okay? That's, if you listen to, which reading did I do that for? The earth signs reading, okay? There was a strong message there. So possibly listen to that if you got the time. For the earth signs you know, in regards to the full moon in Taurus next Friday, November 19th, okay? And I'm like, no, because like if you try to be who you're not, you're not going to be well received by the crowd. And that's an example of you not walking your north node or not living according to your astrological aspects or your destiny. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So you want to not try to copy, you know, and, you know, I feel like it's like something that a lot of, you know, celebrities, you know, a lot of performers, let me specify, uh, they, it's kind of, kind of like a trip that a lot of them experience whilst coming into the music industry. And the truth is, even over the years, some of them still have not learned. Because like, even though we saying, okay, there is that Beyonce, there's that Rihanna, there is that J-Lo, you know, so many other, I'm, I'm not gonna like try to pinpoint names. I'm just saying the ones that a lot of y'all listen to, right? You know, even they themselves, they still take from other entertainers and performers and so when we think about originality the truth is that don't really exist because even you know who you you consider to be authentic they're inspired and they copy something from somebody else and it's, and it's the truth at the end of the day right but at, what I'm trying to say is you need to find what you are authentically taken to and not what you think people are going to be taken to that's what i'm trying to say because we all are inspired by somebody or something else but you need to find what you're authentic authentically inspired by and stick to that don't be going that showgirl kind of route because you think that's what people want no because if that's not your route and if that's not what you authentically take to at the end of the day, people are going to dismiss you. Okay? And so it's important to know your frequencies, energies, and aspects. Most importantly, at the end of the day, summing all of that up, it is important to follow your North Node. Namaste.